Yeah. I remember. The one time you don't do a sewer scope and everything's blocked up and just destroyed. Like, no. Nah. <laughs> and there's times that you've done your research and you open it up and you get in the walls. You're like, this place is awesome. Like, I just need to paint it. I had no idea. Like, you're going to, regardless of industry or business or anything else, like, you're going to get every demographic and outreach and clients is no different. Are you only local to Washington? Or are you working with clients nationwide? Nationwide and international, as long as oh, they cool. have a website that's in English. And even if their okay. website's not in English, they can make an English page and we could drive traffic to that page to help them get rankings as well and in the map pack for the local area. How has technology helped you with your business? Or let me back that up. Let's scratch that. When you first were transitioning out of the fire service and you're working on this as a side hustle, were you only marketing local or did you start from a national uh, footprint? Yeah, it was just local when I was within the fire service. And I mean, shame on me, right? Like dirty secret is I had that mindset of having a safety net. So I didn't work on it as hard as I should have to make it a reality. And it was once it was like, oh, I'm going to get terminated as well. I was like, I need to like actually really get serious about this. Because I didn't join the BNI group and stuff until after. Like most of my client seeking really getting after it was once I was like, oh, I have a deadline. I need to make sure I feed my kids and <laughs> I don't show up and there's a paycheck here. 